So then let's consider first of all, what is a mind in the grip of vicious circles? Well, one of the most obvious instances that we all know is the phenomenon of worry. The doctor tells you that you have to have an operation. And that has been set up so that automatically everybody worries about it. But since worrying takes away your appetite and your sleep, it's not good for you. But you can't stop worrying and therefore you get additionally worried that you are worrying. And then furthermore, because that is quite absurd and you're mad at yourself because you do it, you are worried because you worry because you worry. That is a vicious circle. So now, can you allow your mind to be quiet? Isn't it difficult? Because the mind seems to be like a monkey, jumping up and down and jabbering all the time. Once you've learned to think, you can't stop. And an enormous number of people devote their lives to keeping their minds busy and feel extremely uncomfortable with silence. When you're alone, nobody's saying anything, there's nothing to do. There's this, this worry, this uh, lack of distraction. I'm left alone with myself and I want to get away from myself. I'm always wanting to get away from myself. That's why I go to the movies, that's why I read mystery stories, that's why I go after to girls or anything that you do or get drunk or whatever. I don't want to be with myself. I feel queer. So, well, why do you want to run away from yourself? What's so bad about it? Why do you want to forget this? Why do you want to become yourself? Because you are addicted to thoughts. This is a drug, a real dangerous one. Compulsive thinking going on and on and on and on and on all the time. It's a habit. So there's a difficulty about stopping that activity. And you really have to stop it if you want to be sane. Because if I talk all the time, I don't hear what anyone else has to say. Then I'll end up in the situation of having nothing to talk about but my own talking. Or so in exactly the same way, if I think all the time, I won't have anything to think about except thoughts. So in order to have something to think about, there are times when you simply must stop thinking. Well, how do you do that? The first rule is don't try to. Because if you do, you will be like someone trying to make rough water smooth with a flat iron. And all that will do will stir it up. So in the same way as a muddy, turbulent pool quiets itself when left alone, you have to know how to leave your mind alone. It will quiet itself 